Hi there! I am making my famous appetizer, garlic bread, which, by the way, my friends have been after this recipe for years, and I haven't given it away. So this is a big deal for many of my friends. I'm going to take an Italian loaf or a French loaf, and I'm going to cut the center because this is a very different garlic bread. When you serve this, you are not going to slice it. This is a social garlic bread, meaning that you are just going to sit around with a glass of wine or coffee or whatever your beverage is and rip this and dip it in the sauce that we're going to make. So you're cutting a, like a center out like so so that you can fill it with the garlic sauce. So, in your mixer, we have our Philadelphia cream cheese at room temperature. I preheated my oven to 475. You can do this at the last minute. Put the whole container of cream cheese in. One cup salted butter. Mix those up. To that, you're going to add 30 cup of EVOO. Two tablespoons of fresh basil. third of a cup chopped garlic. I know it sounds a lot, but you need it. This is the most decadent, amazing, amazing appetizer you can have. This took me four years to perfect this recipe. And my friends have, every time they come over, they say, can I have it? And I've never given it away. That's how bad I want to win this contest. One cup Parmesan cheese. Now, only put half the cup in the mix. Reserve the rest. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take the mixture, oh it smells so good, and you're going to fill your little boat that you made and what happens is when this melts, this gets ooey gooey all over. So now, just like icing sugar, you're going to ice the top of your bread. Wherever I go, people invite me to dinner and I say, what can I bring? This is what they always ask me to bring. it all. I know it looks like a lot, but trust me, all melts, then you rip this bread, and it is just the most sinful, delicious dessert. The only rule is, because there's so much garlic in it, everybody has to eat it. Take the rest of your Parmesan cheese, sprinkle it on the top. Just like so. Pop that baby in the oven. And that one's not going to fit in that oven. Now, 
while that's going on, I just want to tell you a little bit about myself and why I love cooking so much. I founded a charity numerous years ago and I work with kids. I teach them music to build their self-esteem up. But one of the things that um, the whole program's about is fighting teen suicide. And it's a pretty stressful job. In fact, yesterday I was dealing with another boy that attempted suicide. So cooking is a real stress reliever. It's also a very spiritual event for me. I love to feed the people that I love. I love to care about them. And food is not just nourishment for the body, but it's for the soul and the spirit. So it's a really important part of my life. The care I put into using fresh ingredients, the time that it takes, is an outward sign for me to the people that I care about. So I hope that everybody's out there doesn't just look at feeding people as a chore, because it's not. It's a joy. I love to serve them, love to make them smile, love to fill their bellies up. And I love to have the time. And that's what's nice about this recipe, is that it creates friendships. It creates a wonderful time for us to share memories as you sit around with this delicious, decadent loaf of bread. So this should be almost ready. Not quite yet. This is what the double oven's for, except this one was too short for this big loaf. Usually I get a loaf that's a little bit shorter. But that's what I hope for, is that people can enjoy the food and have food that you can sit around, share the friendship, share your love. So when you're eating this decadent, decadent garlic bread, you rip it and you share your memories and your love with your friends. If you could just smell the garlic, you'd understand that this is a winner. 